this is Tom Cloud with my bi-weekly precious metals market update. I'm going to start uh, on the reverse of what I usually do because the IRA business has absolutely exploded. And so many people my age are retiring, the baby boomers, and they're leaving companies and they don't want them managing the money. And they don't want everything in stocks and bonds and cash. So they want to have a self-directed precious metals IRA. So what we can do is we can help you set that up. We can be your broker uh, and we can be your manager, and uh, cu- but we cannot be your custodian. But working with Dan, Scoggins has been with me 25 plus years and he's set up hundreds and hundreds of IRAs. He can help you directly. But what we're seeing is money man, uh, baby boomers leaving retire not wanting to leave their money there so they move it out set up one self-directed ira for uh, stocks and bonds and cash and one for precious metals gold silver platinum are the three that we recommend right now so yes if you haven't done that you need to do it because as you build your assets you have what you call your personal assets that are in your name and you have your qualified assets that, that your government's your partner they're going to get their share of it when you eventually need to liquidate some of it to live on. And certainly we're starting to see that, as I said, with the baby boomers in the market. So if you need to talk to us, uh, you can reach us at 800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. And we'll work with you on getting those uh, set up and getting the proper paperwork to do that. Uh, what was interesting, I only got two emails in the last two weeks uh, of questions on here, and one of them is ultimately important we just forget about, and that is very simple. Would you, would The question is, would you explain the current situation with silver coins, and why the premiums are so high, are they going to stay high, and how does that work, what am I paying for them, and what can I get for them? So we're going to try to cover all that because it's boring to some people that know this, but if you don't, you need to know what you're getting into. So let's do start with Silver Eagles. Silver Eagles right now, we are the cheapest in the country that I've seen. Uh, If not, we're right at it. And you're paying $10.50 over spot price. We are paying $9.50 over spot price. So if you do all that calculation, NNA, we make 2.7, 2.75% on that. That's what we get. Rest of it goes to the U.S. Mint and the wholesalers that are market makers. So they charge me $9.50. I charge you $10.50. You got it? And yes, it is at an all-time high for premiums. But here's the problem, folks. This is going to get much more severe than it is now. People are buying silver to hold now. They're putting it into COMEX warehouses. And now we're starting to see the coins in addition to just 100 ounce bars that can be used for COMEX trading, futures trades, that coins cannot. So I'm sitting here telling you, but let me tell you even a better deal. For the ones of you that buy maple leaves right now, um, you can see that Silver maple leaves, we're charging five fifty right now. And I mean, we've got dealers calling that don't have credit or big enough that want me to sell them at what I sell you for. So go maple leaves right now at five fifty, five dollars less than an eagle is an amazing price based on the premiums right now. But the ones that you still can get for uh four fifty are going to be the uh, the big four, Philharmonics, Britannias, Kangaroos, and Krugerrands, the big four sovereign coins beside the top two, which are Eagles and Maple Leafs, and then the four I just read you. But right now, we can't get silver rounds. They are non-existent. People are trying to get the lowest cost they could in silver and buying silver rounds like crazy. And we see the biggest premiums we've seen in silver rounds right now as to what we can sell them 
for when you're wanting to sell them. So hopefully the premium is not going down. The ratio is 68 to one this morning. And remember just about 15 months ago, right at the very beginning of COVID, silver was $13. Today is $26. It's doubled in about 16 months. And the big jump hasn't come yet. I can't understand the life of me how anyone that's going to that's even look at this thing that's interested in metals waiting any longer to buy silver. I, I don't get it. I mean, it's not going to go down and it's going to go much, much higher. But I can't tell you when because of a lot of the manipulation. But if you go every Friday and look at the commitment of tra trader numbers, those going in to either bet on gold and silver going up or down, shorting or going long the futures market, you'll see there's more and more changing over every week going long, knowing that silver and gold both are going to explode. I don't need to go through the reasons. You know about printing money. You know about what this new administration's <coughs> doing by uh, printing money, worst deficit ever. We're only six months into the fiscal year. We've already got the worst deficit in the history of the United States <coughs> getting worse. People leaving the petrodollar. They're now paying Chinese yuan for petro and not the U.S. dollar anymore. Things are changing so fast. Uh, India, just the biggest import month in the history of the country, <coughs> over 480 tons of gold. I don't need to give you all these reasons. You know what? What I am talking to you about is the supply side of what's going on. So get that because that ratio is going to go to 50 to 1. And I still think the number is going to be 2,000 for gold and uh, divide, divide that by, by 50 and you get $40 an ounce for silver. And when you go to sell them, it, right now I can get sell silver eagles <coughs> to major wholesalers and get six to seven and a half dollars what you're paying ten and a half for so it, it's a real low break even compared to anybody else in the market that i see and we're not charging the back end fees either remember so anyway hopefully that will answer that I want to talk about uh, platinum the second question was am i still bullish here on this show, twice, I've given buy signals on platinum. We saw it go from 400 to over 800, back to 600. I gave a signal again. Went up to 850, I gave another signal. Now it's at 1180 and climbing. Platinum does hold a little bit of risk because it is an industrial metal. And if the whole world caves in, then platinum's going to go down. Demand for it's going to go down. But the, it is so rare is 44 to 48 times more rare than go. 44 to 48 times. So I can tell you, it's already been to 2000 once, and then went all the way back down when palladium took over as a major metal for the catalytic converter. That's gone in history. Even though we still see palladium up in the 25, 2600 range, it hasn't moved while Platinum is, is doubled, basically. And it now, platinum is still two times more expensive, but it's not four times. So get in platinum while you can, because you have something hard to get. It is really hard to get, because the industrial world that needs it is taking it and buying it and storing it. And we're hearing incredible rumors out of China that may or may not be that the government is filling trenches with silver, they're taking back holes and digging long, long strips of land and just taking and dumping silver in there and covering it up. Because remember, the mandate for silver car for silver electric cars is 2024. If they drive a non-electric car after that, they're going to be paying a big penalty to drive a gas car. So they think ahead like you should be doing. And seriously, if you're not, you're making a huge mistake. I had a guy tell me last week when I missed it, he told me to buy it at 13, it doubled, and I missed it. So I'm telling you now, it's gonna go 
from 28 to 56 easy. If some people say right now, silver should be $180, just based on the amount of money created out of thin air, since silver was $50 an ounce back in 2011, and the first time going back to 1980. So yes, I think it's gonna easily double to 56, and probably this year or next year. I really believe that. So anyway, hopefully I've covered the two main questions. Uh, silver, the price ratio, commitment of traders, people going long. But hopefully you understand a little bit about premiums. And one thing to remember, if, if, the, if you stayed at 1050 over spot buying a Silver Eagle from us, and the price went to 30, well, the premium's going down because it becomes a smaller percentage of what you're paying for premium and, and what's going into the silver. So uh, I just don't see it coming back down. And so if you wait, you're making a mistake. But once again, we're happy to talk to you about your IRA or answer questions. And once again, if you have any questions, just send them in through our website at cloudhardassets.com. Or you can reach us at 800 247 2812. May God be with you till we meet again. This is Tom Cloud signing out.